Hello, welcome to this short video about Jaguar XK8 stainless bolts for engine covers. This is episode 27 in my series of videos about changing my timing gear on my XK8. And in this video, I'm just going to show you all the bolts I've changed to stainless and the specifications. Okay, so first of all, I've decided to go for uh, stainless steel because they look cosmetically better. Um, I've the greater bolts I'm taking out are actually grade 8.8 .8, and you can see this actually on the head of the bolts and I'm going to replace them with A2-70 grade which is almost but not quite equivalent which I'll go into in a bit of detail. The main reason for this is just cosmetic. I try to use like for like but uh, obviously the stainless ones won't rust and they'll look better in the long run. However, they're not quite the same. Okay, there are three issues with stainless bolts as opposed to the 8.8. .8. I mean, the 8.8 .8 are high tensile steel bolts. As you can see, the tensile strength is 800, whereas the A270 is only 700. So they're not as strong. They also can be a little bit less brittle. There's less stretch. It's a little bit more brittle, less stretch. So you can't really use them for any critical applications, but they should be okay for cosmetic things and covers. And I'm thinking particularly in the timing covers and cam covers, etc., that I'm using them for. Secondly, the strength is is slightly lower for preload for the same torque. So you're not going to get the same pressure off the bolt for the same torque setting. So you need to actually just up the torques you're fastening these up, these up, these up to, or that's what I'm going to do, and uh, use thread lock. Uh, I've decided to use thread lock to assist the vibration resistance. Thirdly, um, obviously the aluminium and uh, aluminium casings I'm bolting to, and the stainless steel do do uh, actually form a, a, an electric circuit, so it actually can accelerate r rust or corrosion in, in the thread. So um, I'm going to use basically uh, thread lock again to try and insulate the. Uh, the thread area from air and moisture so hopefully inhibit the uh, the corrosion so with these three things in mind i'm going to use stainless with thread lock okay so here's what i've actually done the all these are all the fasteners i believe are to do with uh, the timing gear so first of all the cam cover bolts i haven't actually changed these but if you wanted to they're m424 uh, sorry the 24 off m6 by 30 along if, uh, I've actually changed the front cover bolts. There's 24 of them, M6 by 35 long. On my car is uh, not supercharged, so I've got four off M6 by 16 for the VVT actuator units, old style. Uh, I've actually decided as well to take to change the bolts for the intake stroke throttle body, the snorkel, where it uh, attaches to the uh, throttle body. So there's two off M6 by 16. Then there's the coil pack covers. There's 12 off M5 by 12. And finally, the air filter housing. There's a little nut on the top which was quite corroded. There's one off M6 nut. Okay, so the full shopping list, as you can see here, is uh, is all the things I've actually uh, you can change on your timing gear to uh, stainless steel. If anybody's interested. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Hope it was informative. Uh, please subscribe if you'd like to see more XK videos.